BBC Asia Network. Sonia Dior with you on your radio and it gives me great pleasure uh, to welcome back a guest on the show who was very, very popular the last time she was here. Very well respected. You could describe her as a mentor, a counsellor, as a guru, as a guide. Uh, she is uh, Anand Murthy Guruma who's back on tour in, in this country, if I can call it a tour. Thank you very, very much. Thank you back. very much for having me in the studio. You uh, look, it's great having you in the studio actually. <laughs> Some, somebody's already emailed uh, me saying that uh, they wish they could be sitting so close to you right now. Well, so, they, are, yeah. they will get a chance when I'll be doing my sessions uh, from today itself. Yes, yes, because you're here for how long? Good three weeks. I'll be doing three uh, programs. Uh, one here in Walsall beginning in the morning, uh, in, from the evening, and then I'll do it in the London uh, in Greenford yeah. and then we'll uh, top it up with a very special program it's a course called Involution which would be the last leg of my tour okay so we'll talk a bit more about that later sure. on so that people can write uh, details down for those that know nothing about Anand Murthy Guru Ma how would you describe yourself in a nutshell hmm well that's a very interesting question I don't know how to describe maybe I am a magician who will bring a magic in their life <laughs> and they'll begin to laugh and giggle like you and they'll they'll just feel so free to breathe and live their lives that all the stressful situations might still linger on in their lives but they know how to cope it up with a smile right so bringing lots of positivity yes, yes. and you were always quite different when you were growing up um, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know what you mean by saying different because I believe every child is very different from the another child okay. and every person has a very different challenging situations I believe I was just talking while coming over here that the only two people who enjoy this earth is one the one who is awakened and two, the children. Mm -hmm. So you can call children and awakened one are very similar. They do what they want to do. The only thing is children have a little bit of more of foolishness, yeah. which they, yeah. they uh, exhume a lot. And the awakened one has a lot of wisdom. But one thing is common. They sing, they dance, they cry. And they live. And they just live. And they they live. just enjoy. What about the people that are in the middle? How would you describe those people? I have a great sympathy for them. They never got a chance to learn what it means to live. Everybody has been uh, exposed to the idea of how to eat and how to dress well or how to have a bigger house and a bigger car. But no one has been told how to be happy with your own self. Mm -hmm. We need something or someone to feel happy. And if these two things are not there, people are very, very unhappy. And this is the most unfortunate situation that we, as per the all religious scriptures, if I go, we are the spark or the light or, or the ray of God. So this means we are God in a ray form, this means we should be the ecstatic, blissful forms. You know what's but quite amazing is that th this is what you concentrate on. You talk a lot about spirituality, you don't belong to a particular religion. No, I don't. And uh, you talk a lot about the mind and the soul and how to reconnect and enjoy our lives, yep. um, how to get rid of the stress and bring our happiness levels up. Right. So there's lots of positivity in what you say. Um, I've noticed, Anand Murtiji, that over the last few years there's been a lot of emphasis in the western world um on the mind and emotions and it is it is Isn't indeed that? very very important because you are living your life through your mind and should i say you are just mind you don't know who you are you think you are the mind so if the mind is scattered if the mind is not uh concentrated then this means your whole life is going to reflect that so it is indeed very important and I would like to stress upon the point that if you go to the Upanishads, the, the very big part of the Hindu religion, then these old texts are talking definitely about the mind, but not only the mind, uh, beyond the mind too. And they have done the postmortem of the human mind in such a wonderful way that once you know it, then you can use this mind as a biggest tool which will help you to live beautifully. What do we need to do? I mean, what are the biggest obstacles that we face in terms of control and controlling our mind? I mean, one of the things I guess will be people uh, saying, my mind is wandering all over let, the place. It's never this. still. Yeah. There is no need to control your mind. And Actually, it is impossible to control your mind. We can only manage our mind. 
because as per one study which was done in west in one hour there are 60000 thoughts which come in the mind yeah so do you think so you can have any sort of control on that because mind is going to think about every sensation and perception and every memory is going to trigger up a uh, waves of thought not just one single mm-hmm. and the management of the mind is something which needs number one exposure first to this idea that yes there is a way to manage it two you need to learn it as you learnt your driving as you learnt your cooking you learnt your academics you learnt from schools and colleges you even learnt how to be deceitful from someone and how to lie so why don't you think that you do need someone to teach you how to manage your mind Now it's interesting you were talking about de- deceit and uh, dishonesty there because it's something that I was talking about in the first hour of the show where I was in the situation I bought two tennis rackets I put the tennis rackets in the tennis bag the guy at the till charged me only for the tennis bag because he didn't realize there were two rackets in there okay now I stood there and thought my friend said just walk out it doesn't matter because you know it's your good luck and i stood there and i felt very uncomfortable and i was thinking i know what the right thing to do is here so i i was standing and standing and then i just said listen you haven't charged me for the rackets right um and then he 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 thanked me and he took the money right now there's been much debate about whether that's the right thing to do See, do you ethical, believe that ethical and moral karma? evaluation of everyone is in a very different way Tell me. what is right for you might not be right for someone else okay. and the human mind is so egoistic that it wishes to believe that what i believe is right and what others are believing is wrong totally so Absolutely, i yeah. believe that you should not look for others even me including that was it right or not you should think in yourself in your mind what made you more happy If you are doing good because you feel guilty of doing bad, I would say better do bad and not feel guilty. Please mind it. It's a very uh, shocking statement what I'm giving. It is a giving. shocking statement. <laughs> but but be- <laughs> if you are doing good and you are doing it out of guilt, then this goodness is a farce. Right. So do it because you want to do it. You something. want to do it and it makes you happy and you know that you aren't depriving someone of of his or her right. So this is something which makes us human that we have power to analyze. Uh-huh. If we don't know how to analyze then we are the dumbest person uh, more dumber than a donkey. Maybe donkey is more wiser than us then. <laughs> Here's the number to call if you want to speak to Anand Murthy Gurumar a special guest here on the show and hum apni zuban mein bhi baat kar sakte hain agar aap hindi mein bhi baat karni hai apni zuban mein jo bhi hai to aap sawal ye bhi kar sakte hain apni zuban mein bhi and our phone number is 08459440445 that is the number to call right now 08459440445 if you would like to speak to Anand Murthy Gurumar you can and text us as well 81869 is the text number uh, or you can email sonia at bbc.co.uk now since yesterday i've been telling people that uh, you're going to be here and uh, i have lot, lots of questions already coming in so let me ask you one of these first of all mm-hmm. uh, this i'm not i'm not going to mention the person's name it's it's anonymous it's basically saying this is the situation a man and a woman have been in a relationship together and uh this woman uh, has been in an on off relationship with this man for 7 years they haven't got married because they're different religions they've got family issues and all that kind of stuff but also internal obstacles he hasn't been wanting to commit to her to get married he then went away and he cheated on her he now regrets it and admits that he was wrong and he keeps coming back in her life but then disappears again and then comes back mm-hmm. she takes him back and is only strong when he's away mm-hmm. she wants to know from you how can she break her emotional attachment to him and be free to move on with her life two things man by nature is polygamous you have to accept that okay to explain what that means to everybody ah uh, they like being in relationship with many 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 women and still they will remain unsatisfied because when you are unsatisfied in your mind no one can give you satisfaction whether it's a man or a woman doesn't make any difference the uh 
percentage of women's mind, if we say, is more of a monogamous. Once she is in a relationship, she wishes to stick. And as per the Indian Saad Janam ke liye, you know, for seven lives, they are they are stuck. They, they, wish to, bahut loyal they, hoti they enjoy being Haan. stuck and they wish to work on their relationship more. The problem of today is this, that there are so many greener pastures around and uh-huh. there are so many eager people to have uh, quickies. And there are so many eager people to, to enjoy uh, a certain hours or certain days or weeks just to change the taste of your mouth mm-hmm. and you are living in a such a society i'm not just talking about the english society i'm talking about even the indian society that's how the mind has become is so unsatisfied it's wandering it's looking for happiness it is not finding but because of the the insecurities they find it difficult to commit to one relationship but yet they want some commitment also so there is a lot of anarchy in the level of their own mind uh-huh. i believe only if this woman could could understand her own mind properly that is the only way to strengthen her confidence and have a moral boost up where she is so happy within herself and that now she is ready to share this happiness with someone problem over here is this man is a beggar is looking happiness from woman woman is a beggar is looking happiness from the man when two beggars meet who will get rich no one no one and that is the problem i teach be a richer person within your own self have that emotional stability in you where others would be following you mm-hmm. and then you can look where you you can uh, have a synchronicity with someone who has the same kind of understanding and maturity and wisdom what are your thoughts on emotional attachment when people See, have that? emotional attachments root is insecurity they are insecure and the if we go dig deep into the mind then the basic scare is of the that now this is something which will get make things more serious mm-hmm. we are lonesome we find it difficult to be alone but yet we are not going to accept that yes we are lonely and we don't understand that being alone is different from being lonely only if you could learn to enjoy your aloneness you will be never lonely whether in a relationship or not in a relationship right okay so this i, I mean i give the power in the woman's hand i give this power to the man's hand don't be a beggar be a rich person be able to be a you rich should person. be able to be by you yourself you are happy so much yeah. see i i just saw a child yesterday alone that child was just jumping in singing and she was not singing some song she's la di da la di da la di da la di da she was just saying this mm-hmm. and she's just happy why is she singing is she trying to seek attention no is she trying to create a commotion no she's just happy with herself Please learn from children how to be happy with yourself. Some people will say to you but you know I I want to feel love from another person. I want to feel that's, those feelings of love from another and biggest, that's what I want to be in a relationship that's the for. Biggest Tell me. Myth. If you are going to be in a relationship seeking love and attention from someone you will never get it and then people begin to behave like a hypocrite and they begin to profess what they are not they will say they are happy they are not mm-hmm. and sooner they wish to believe this lie that yes they are happy with a maybe a flower or a one dining date or with the one small vacation they wish to cover up the misery which they are going through what about the other person in this situation the person that's cheating what would you say to those people why should we call it a cheating that person is also looking for happiness as this girl is looking for happiness he couldn't find it over here so he's looking somewhere else see i'm again shocking your your listeners by saying this but isn't it true don't we have this right to be happy because we are not taught and exposed the technique to be happy with ourselves everyone is looking happiness from someone and these someone are also looking happiness and again i i i put this story back again a beggar and a beggar they meet together who is going to get rich no one so the person that is uh going out let's say going out looking for Please happiness give that person a benefit of doubt what what is the fault in seeking happiness See I am not putting the blame square on the woman what I am putting the blame definitely on the ignorance of the today's human mind mm. why can't they be satisfied with one another why can't they adjust with one another because they actually don't trust one another they don't love an, one another love has become the dirtiest word on this globe it is being used 
they could have said i am infatuated with you they could have said i am sexually attracted to you they could have said that i like you as a friend but no 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 they have to use the word love and then they abuse one another emotionally and they begin to lie and live a deceitful life and they create a hell around them and it is such a sorry thing to see that poor people they only i really wish they could have some real love in their the expression of love is that which makes your mind calm and silent is love that experience which makes your mind full of joy is love but sonia can you see this thing happening to people when they mm. go in or out of the relationships when they are in relationships there's a lot of trauma actually happening to to please one another they're right. always on their tenter hooks how to please and how not to displease and how to hook up that person and make a slave of that person and the other person is also looking for a slave and no one wishes to be a slave and that brings a lot of commotion well i think what happens in relationships is a lot of and from my um take on uh, on on looking at relationships and my own experiences as well that um there's a lot of i am right right sure. it's what you were saying earlier it's, yes, uh, yes it's the mind for a lot of people people would like to believe i am right so is every child opinion. is born with this ego we aren't given the ego every child is born with the ego and then ego is boosted by the family and the in the peer groups and teachers and 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 the relatives and that how it has become the main key problem of most of the relationships and most of the lives mm. and only if see one one state of mind where there is no i i i that is your deep sleep how lovely that state is <laughs> <laughs> we're speaking and the to... second would be the death <laughs> yeah there's no i'm right <laughs> in that there situation is, no, is there there is no uh, um, An- anand murthy guruma is our special guest on the show uh, here on the bbc asian network and if you would like to put any questions to anand murthy then by all means you can there's several ways of getting in touch you can email sonia at bbc.co.uk uh, you can text us 81869 or you can uh, call us 08459 440445 I'm going to go to the phone lines in a short while but first uh, let's get a track in this is uh, from one of your albums called Ishqi Mola tell us about this song this play. is a song celebration of the the ruhani ishq now this is the real ishq what i call this is the ruhani love this is the divine love and the one who has it in in his or her heart lives a life of a great high and there is a no low point and it's a dance and celebration of this beautiful uh, journey so this ishqihim ala meaning the love in itself is god i we are not seeking some anonymous god we have god when we are in this love and so just uh, listening would make things more clear thank you
Anand Murti Guruma singing Ishka Ishka Mola. And she's our special guest here on the BBC Asian Network this morning. Lots of your questions that are coming in. So can I go straight to the phone lines, if yes, I may? Yes, and, and this is Mrs. Gassim, first of all, who's on the line. Hello, Mrs. Gassim. Hello, hello, Sonia. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Not very well, but I just let me speak to uh, Anand Guruma. I might get some satisfaction. And we're just going to sort out. We're having a slight technical here where Guruma can't hear you in her headphones, but we're just going to sort that out uh, in the next few seconds. So just hang on there for me, Mrs. Gassim, uh, if you can. Uh, in the meantime, also, uh, do have a pen and paper ready if you want more details about uh, Guruma and her time in the UK and the courses uh, that are going to be running here because I'll give those details out in a short while. Uh, Mrs. Garsim, where are you calling from? Manchester. Manchester, okay. And uh, you can hear her now, yes, Guru yes. Maji? Yes, yes, Mrs. Garsim. Hello? Hello, hello. Yes, please. I mean, this is the world, my name is Rupiya Garsim. I'm very sick today. 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 तो मैं चाहती हूँ कि मेरी बेटी शादी होगी शादी देख पाऊंगी कि नहीं मैं बहुत परेशान रहती हूँ देखिए आप एक बात समझिए कि अगर आप ऐसे दुखी रहेंगी और चिंता करती रहेंगी तो आपका शरीर आपकी इस बीमारी को और ज्यादा बढ़ा देगा क्योंकि हमारा जो मन है वो हमारे शरीर के संचालन में द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ द बॉडी को हैंडल करता है अगर आप चिंता करेंगी फिक्र करेंगी तो आपके शरीर में कॉर्टिजोल की मात्रा बढ़ जाएगी जिससे आपका कैंसर और ज्यादा तकलीफ देगा इसके विपरीत आप अपने रब पर भरोसा रखें उसने तेरे ये शरीर को बनाया ये मिट्टी की दे तेरी बनाई है और एक दिन खाक में इसने जाना ही जाना है कोई कैंसर से जाएगा कोई तो हट्टा कट्टा भी जाएगा एक बंदा मेरे से पूछ रहा था कि जी मैं अगर दो घंटे चार घंटे रोज योगासन करूं और फिर मेरा क्या होगा मैंने कहा बस ये कि तू स्वस्थ मरेगा बीमार नहीं मरेगा मरना तो ये हकीकत है इस इस हकीकत को हमें स्वीकार करना चाहिए लेकिन अगर हम अल्लाह की रजा में रहते हैं और आई हुई इस तकलीफ को भी कबूल कर लेते हैं और लड़ते नहीं है कि ये मुझे क्यों आया तो आप सिर्फ जी ना ना आप कबूल करिए और जो अल्लाह मियाँ पूरी कायनात को चला रहा है वो तेरी बेटी की जिंदगी को भी तो चला देगा ना कुछ तो उस पर अपनी चिंता का फिक्रों का बोझा डाल दे वो बड़ी खुशी से ले लेगा तू फिक्र कर मत तू उसके ऊपर फिक्र छोड़ तू अल्लाह कर बैठ करके और सुबह अल्लाह सब कुछ ठीक हो जाएगा थैंक यू Thank you so much. That's Mrs. Garsim uh, in Manchester. Um, can I just pick up a, a little bit of, of uh, the theme in, in that call in yes, a way? Yes, sure. जब कोई अपनी जुबान में भी ये जरूर बात कर सकते हैं जो इंग्लिश नहीं समझ पा रहे हैं अभी कि जो इंसान अभी बैठ के सोचता है कि मेरी जिंदगी में ये नहीं हुआ मेरा काम नहीं सही हुआ या मेरे फैमिलीज में बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स है मैं किसी का बिगाड़ नहीं सोचता किसी का बुरा नहीं सोचता मेरे साथ ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है देखिए पहली बात हमें यह समझनी होगी जब हम माँ के गर्भ में थे तब अकेले थे और जब चिता में या कब्र में जाएंगे तब भी हम अकेले ही होंगे और अगर हम अपने मन को इसी अकेलेपन में राजी रखना सीख जाएं और वो तभी होगा अगर हम अपने अंदर बंदगी की उस खुशी को उस मस्ती को जिस मस्ती को लेके एक फकीर मलंग की तरह नाचता है अगर वो मस्ती हमें लेनी आ जाए आप सोच के देखिए आपको किस चीज की परवाह रह जाएगी मैं एक काफी गाया करती हूँ बाबा के मौज फकीर दी कदी चबावे चना चबीना कदी लैवे लपटा खीर दी हाँ मंग तंग के टुकड़े खांदे चलदे चाल अमीर दी कुछ नहीं है फकीर के पास लेकिन उसके पास एक चीज है ये विश्वास पहली बात हम इस दुनिया में अपनी मर्जी से तो आए नहीं है एक दिन अचानक भी पप्ट आउट ऑफ द मदर्स वूम्ब बाहर आए तो देखा दुनिया दिख रही है कुछ सुनाई दे गए कुछ चीजें खाने को मिल गई कुछ सूंघने को मिल गई कुछ खेलने को मिल गई और धीरे 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 इसी सच्चाई को स्वीकार कर लिया और हम ये भूल गए कि जब हम आए अपनी मर्जी से नहीं तो जाएंगे भी अपनी मर्जी से नहीं जिस दिन चाहेगा वो सांस का धागा काट देगा उस काटने वाले को आप प्रकृति कह दो नेचर कह दो रब कह दो भगवान कह दो डजेंट मेक्स एनी डिफरेंस बट समथिंग विच गेव अस लाइफ एक दिन उसने जिंदगी वापिस लेनी लेनी है तो ये जिंदगी में मेरे सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट जरूरी चीज क्या है वो पाउंड जो मेरी जेब में नहीं है या वो जो सांस जो चल रही है सांस की डोरी टूट जाए आपके पास मिलियन पाउंड्स हो क्या करोगे 
दूसरे मौज उड़ाएंगे बच्चे मौज उड़ाएंगे पड़ोसी मौज उड़ाएंगे और कोई नहीं तो फिर सरकार मौज उड़ाएगी क्योंकि कोई क्लेम करने वाला नहीं तो सरकार के पास जाएगा सब कुछ अनंत मूर्ति जी और सवाल उठता है जी जो लोग कहते हैं कि ठीक है आप क्या कह रहे हैं ठीक है पर आ, मेरे पास आ, आ, ज्यादा पैसा नहीं है मेरे पास ये बिल्स आते हैं मोर्गेज पेमेंट है फाइनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम्स है कि ये, ये मैं इसके मैं, साथ कैसे बैलेंस करूं मैं थोड़ी सी एक चीज मैं काटना चाहूंगी ये बिल्स ज्यादा बड़े क्यों हो गए इसलिए नहीं कि आप रोटी खा रहे थे तो आप उसका रोटी का बिल ज्यादा नहीं आया आपने कुछ ऐसी ख्वाहिशात पाल ली थी आपने कुछ ऐसी शॉपिंग कर ली है आपने कुछ ऐसी चीजों को ले लिया है मार्केट से जिसकी शायद आपको जरूरत थी भी नहीं लेकिन दूसरों को दिखाने के लिए एक अच्छी ड्रेस पहन के एक अच्छी गाड़ी में बैठ के या एक महंगी परफ्यूम लगा करके आप खुशी ढूंढ रहे हैं तो माफ कीजिए बिल तो बड़े हो ही जाएंगे आप मैं ये समझती हूँ कम से कम इस देश में जो लोग रह रहे हैं इवन इन इंडिया जो लोग रह रहे हैं कोई आदमी ऐसा नहीं है जो भूखस होता हो रोजगार मिलता है छत सिर के ऊपर होती है बट आपको सडनली विला चाहिए पेंट हाउस चाहिए I was going to revert back to English for for a second, if I may, because amongst younger people, yeah. this is a big thing at the moment. I know it, it know, is a big thing. I must thing. have a great car. I must have a fantastic house. I must wear designer clothes. I want to be. I really wish uh, Sonia. I really, wish, Sonia, I really wish Sonia that some of the youth could take some inspiration from uh, Mr. Bill Gates or Mr. Warren Buffett, who have given up their whole money in in benefit for the helping up of people. They have set up the charity funds. why couldn't they take some inspiration from such people they had all the money but they finally found happiness by giving it away mm-hmm. so this means when you give it away you are claiming your right of peace and happiness the problem is this that such examples are so few and somehow everyone is missing upon that what would you say to the person that says Well it's easy for them to give it away because they still have enough to live with and they have a great lifestyle but See, I think so a lot of lot of industrialists were yeah. never born with a silver spoon in their mouths yeah. they worked hard and hard and hard and finally they made a place for themselves and when they had reached these heights they got this final wisdom dawning upon them that they are incomplete mm-hmm. so to feel that completeness they had to give it away do you feel that just let me let me yes. just give a small example yeah you ate food food is in your stomach and it is uh, going through the whole system of digestion how would you feel relaxed when this all waste product leaves your body you give it away or you hold it within you Can you getting my point? Uh, completely with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine for 3 days you haven't gone to toilet. Yes. <laughs> I can't <laughs> or, or or water retention has happened oh. and the water isn't going out of the body what will that th- make it happy or will the giving away will make you happy <laughs> I know it's a very what very, very example? crude example <laughs> <laughs> but it makes your point so well <laughs> We've got on the phone line yes, Mahinder Singh hello Mahinder Singh ji uh, hello ji hello Sashrikal Sashrikal ji ha ji to see this uh main guru ma ji nu puchna chahna ha first of all welcome to guru ma ji thank you ji thank you ji te ek gall hai sank ki jada mind hai na main meri belief hai ke god jada koi bahar nahi hai ga haan ji na koi koi banda na koi hai ga eh koi pasu koi nahi eh mind mera khayal hai ke god hai ek mind is the god haan ji te mera eh soch hai ke je jis tarah ek massive computer hai eh mind jada jada ke god is like a computer with a massive hard drive aje assi koi bhi maada ja changa kam karde ha oh hard drive te save ho janda hmm te jadon assi kyon like the computer te eh jadon eh kithe chaldi hard drive oh jehde san sanu koi eh oda phal milda ja di saja mildi ha te assi sochde ha ke eh pichle zamane da ho ni oh jadon hard drive te work karde ha na ji उस वे कंप्यूटर उस वे रिजल्ट शो कर दिता है कई दफा सू चेता रहा कई दफा नहीं चेता रहा मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि जरा कि मैं हैड राउंड नहीं कर सकिया अजे तक हाँ जी हाँ जी <laughs> <laughs> 
ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਬੱਚਾ ਪੈਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਰੀਇਨਕਾਰਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਿਛਲਾ ਚੇਤਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਹੈ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਹਨਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਹਨੇ ਇਹ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਚ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਚ ਸਵਾਲ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਡਰਾਈਵ ਆ ਵੀ ਚਾਹੀ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਲੀਵ ਕਰਦਾ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਹਾਰਡ ਡਰਾਈਵ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਟਰਾਂਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਿਊ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਐਸਾ ਹੈ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਬੜਾ ਸੌਖਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਵਾਬ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਤਿੰਨ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਸਥੂਲ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪੰਜਾਂ ਤੱਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਣਿਆ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਡਾ ਸੂਖਸ਼ਮ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਚ ਪੰਜ ਗਿਆਨ ਇੰਦਰੇ ਪੰਜ ਕਰਮ ਇੰਦਰੇ ਮਨ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਚਿੱਤ ਔਰ ਅਹੰਕਾਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਤੀਸਰਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਕਾਰਨ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੌਤ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਬਾਹਰਲੇ ਸਥੂਲ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਦੀ ਗਰਾਸ ਬਾਡੀ ਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੂਖਸ਼ਮ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਉਹੀ ਬਣਿਆ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਉਹੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੀ ਇੱਛਾਵਾਂ ਵਾਸਨਾਵਾਂ ਔਰ ਸੰਸਕਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਤਮੰਨਾ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਪੂਰਤੀ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਫੇਰ ਇੱਕ ਨਵਾਂ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਿੰਗ ਹੈ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦ ਨੇਚਰ ਇਹ ਤਤਵਾਂ ਦਾ ਮਨ ਦਾ ਆਪਸ ਦਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੇਲ ਜੋਲ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਹਾਰਡ ਡਰਾਈਵ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਾਹਰ ਲੱਖ ਖਾਕਾ ਬਸ ਬਦਲ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੀ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਰੀ ਉਹੀ ਦੀ ਉਹੀ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਮਨ ਉਹੀ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਦਾ ਪੁਰਾਣਾ ਮਨ ਕਦੋਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਸ਼ਾਸਤਰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਦਿਨ ਤਰੀਕ ਮੂਰਤ ਸਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਮਨ ਬਸ ਚੱਲ ਹੀ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਆਦਿ ਕਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਸ ਆਦਮੀ ਨੇ ਗਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਵਿਜੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰ ਲਈ ਉਹ ਆਦਮੀ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਦੁਸ਼ ਚੱਕਰ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਜੀ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੋਕਸ਼ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਿਰਵਾਣ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਲਵੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਜੀ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਨਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਮਿਹਰਬਾਨੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਫਰਮ ਹਟਸਫੇਅਰ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੁੱਛਣੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਬਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗਰ ਆਪਨੇ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਮੇ ਬਾਤ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਮੇ ਆ ਜਨੋ ਅਦਰ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਉਰਦੂ ਮੇ ਔਰ ਐਵਰ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਫੋਰ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਹੀਜ਼ ਦ ਨੰਬਰ ਟੂ ਕਾਲ 08459440445 ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਟੈਕਸਟ 81869 ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਈਮੇਲ sonia@bbc.co.uk ਆਈ ਨੇਵਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਯੂ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਯੋਰ family your parents any siblings do, do you ever speak about them it's too mundane do, i don't think so that too any, mundane too mundane really see they have played their their role they gave me birth and thank you very much <laughs> Where are they? Right, okay. Where are they? Where are your parents and everybody? See, have, my parents yeah. are always with me. Okay. That's a good answer. Me. <laughs> See, this body is part of the father and the mother. So they are in me. Do you have connection to your biological parents? See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the sperm and the ova which met. <laughs> I love how graphic you get. <laughs> That is how this body came up, yes, right? Yeah. So mother father are already here. You're seeing them. Yes. <laughs> It's nice to meet your mom and dad. Oh, <laughs> they're they right happy now. to see you also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play another track now, Anand sure. Murthy. Uh, this is uh, Lanya Mein Lanya Akhiya. So, this is what you need to do with this. You need to listen to the first song and then talk about it. Let's go. Here we go. Lanya Mein Lanya Akhiya. ਕੋਲੇ ਕੋ ਮੈਂ ਸਜਣਾ 
Laya Melaya Akia. Now you can tell us about this track. <laughs> Another Murti Guru Mahal on our show today. Okay. Now, not not saying it in in humor. I'm saying it very seriously. People yeah. always ask me, who are you in relationship with? So this song is explaining that. <laughs> <laughs> we were just we <laughs> off air. We were just talking about the family. Yeah. And I love what you were saying. Just share that with everybody about her. See, uh, the family for people is the biological uh, mother, father, siblings, and that, and the extended family. Right. That is what the family is. But I believe once your your understanding grows, the definition mm. changes for you. And then every living and breathing being becomes your family. It's not a statement which I am making. It is something which I am living. Mm. Uh, so wherever I go world over, I am always in a home and I am always surrounded with my siblings. Are you always happy? Maybe not. Maybe yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, happiness is opposite to being sad. Mm. I would say I am not happy and I am not sad. I'm peaceful. You're peaceful. You're at peace within yourself. Yes. Um I have lots of questions that are coming in and I really want to ask some of these because they're really really good questions uh, that that uh, that are here. Uh this one says, uh my mother-in-law has always been aggressive towards me. Everything I do and say is taken the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I've tried for years to make the relationship work for my mm-hmm. husband. Mm-hmm. I now have a child. The situation has gotten worse. She always pushes me out of family situations, and I don't know how to handle the emotional and the psychological effects of this all. I suffered postnatal depression after my baby because of the nasty things that my mother-in-law was saying to me and doing. She's a very destructive person. How can I handle her? But I've tried to cut off, but it's not possible. Well, I believe your mother-in-law is a very unhappy person and she never got her piece of love or calmness and that is why she is just giving it away to others who are around her if you could do it it's a very courageous thing which i'm going to ask you if you can try it and that is hug your mother-in-law every morning evening afternoon say all good and nice things to her and forget about because just see that she must have gone through a very painful life journey and that is why she is oozing with this poison if only she could met someone who could have given her love because love is something care and attention is something which every human mind seeks but when you don't get it and you have lot of insecurities in you that is how you begin to behave the destructive way is actually a way she is trying to protect her own mind and wherever the weaker person is there who is dependable and where the person can bully she just kind of gets her small moments of uh, you know pleasure 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 yeah. that yeah. what others did to her she is in a way doing it to you so if you wish to break this cycle then create so much of love i know you would say i don't get loved how can i create love you can do that by spending some time with your own self and spend some time with your mind breathe properly do some mantra and read some poetry sing a song do a dance do something which makes you happy and then ooze it out all on your mother in law so the key thing <laughs> in what you're saying is yeah. not to think about what she's doing to no, you no 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 we should go to the root of the problem think about what you can do for that person let me tell you one yeah. thing when ashram sometimes some girls or women come and they say they they claim uh, they say that we have pimples coming on their face and and i i say okay let's I ask them one question do you have too much acidity they say yes I ask do you think too much yes okay correct this and they say how does it relate to my pimples pimples are basically the root is your stomach you would say how uh-huh. because when you are stressed then ACTH and CRH that gives result to more cortisol that gives result to more you know such enzymes in your stomach which will create more of a pitta in your the more of a heat in your body which is going to come out through your skin another question which relates um i could um i'm married with two lovely children i'm always smiling and happy even when i have problems mm-hmm. my wife is always the opposite she's mm-hmm. angry and moody what mm-hmm. can i do well you can't do anything nobody could do anything to their wife or <laughs> the woman in their life the only thing what you can do is be little patient with her can you do that now being patient again requires a lot of strength because you have children involved 
I, I'm really sorry to say this, but I always have my you know very strong opinion about it that before a husband wife understand one another, they have no right to bring children in this world. Because they are not only going to destroy one another, mm -hmm. they are going to destroy that innocent baby's life too. When so much of fighting and abuse is, is running in the house, do you think so the child won't get affected with it? Yes, the child is going to grow up to be an abusive and a brat child. So we really need to think about it. And I believe that any wise uh, head of a family should talk about this to their newlywed you know, children, that please take time to understand one another. You can fight and squirm and do whatever before you have a child. Mm -hmm. You should only give birth to a child when you have fully developed a strong relationship with one another mm. where you are going to pass on love vibes to one another. It's amazing what you say when when we know that sometimes in Asian families um, uh, quite often when a couple is having problems uh, the parents will say have a baby it that, will sort that, see, uh, things that, out. That is the sick life I'm sorry to say this is the kind of a sick life which they have lived because of the children they feel bonded out of burden to one another. Is it way to live? Is it way to... I don't think so. This is the right way to live. Mm -hmm. Because, see, if you see the youth today, if you see the kids today, they have quite a temper. They have a quite an attitude. From where is it coming? It is coming from the parents. That's exactly what we're going to pick up on after the news. We're going to be talking about the youth and because that is something you're focusing on yes. in your courses this time around uh, in your time in the UK. So uh, the, the youth course is going to be focusing on main problems that you see with the mechanics of the mind, you yes. say, with youth. We'll talk more about that after the news. Our special guest on the show today here on the BBC Asian Network, Anand Murthy Guruma. Uh, any questions or if you want to say hi, text 818 or you can call us 08459 440 The sound of Asian Britain on digital TV and online. This is BBC Asian Network. Time for your lunchtime news now. Here's Rosina Sinney. BBC Asian Network News. There's a stark warning that more than half of Bangladeshis and Pakistanis in the UK are now living in poverty. The Joseph Roundtree Foundation says it's now going to look into the reasons why. It's going to take five years to do that. Bal Atwal from the Bradford Resource Centre is involved and is looking at the Bangladeshi community there. There's still a lot of money being sent back home, costs associated with faith education, so poverty associated with short-term employment. There are employment opportunities in the restaurant trade for, for men but they tend to be short-lived. So in and out of work causes a lot of, lot of issues. And we'll bring you more on this in Asian Network Reports in half an hour. Next, two men are to stand trial over the murder of Stephen Lawrence. Gary Dobson and David Norris are accused of killing the black teenager at a bus stop in south-east London in 1993. No one's ever been convicted of the crime, but a small team of Scotland Yard detectives has continued to investigate the 18-year-old's death. Doreen Lawrence is the teenager's mum. All I can think about is Stephen and that perhaps somewhere down the line we will finally get justice for him. So I think it's just been a long time for us to get to this position. Fifteen people have been arrested as part of an investigation into money laundering worth more than £200 million. Properties in Rochdale, Manchester, Bradford, Southport and Nottingham have been searched. Army bomb disposal experts are at what police have described as a major incident in Hartlepool. They've surrounded a car in the town of, in, count, in the town in County Durham where a body was found in the early hours of this morning. Now, one of India's most iconic forms of transport, the rickshaw, could be getting a revamp. A driver's union in Mumbai says the three-wheelers cause severe back pain. They want manufacturers to redesign it and make it more comfortable. Asian Network's been at the launch of the Bangra Music Awards. Alap and Bremi were some of the Punjabi artists in London last night. The ceremony, the second of its kind, will take place in September. Singer Mungal Singh told us what the awards mean to him. Uh, it's good to have awards. I mean, just give you a little bit of encouragement, you know, although it's sometimes it doesn't mean nothing, sometimes means not. But it, it just to get people out is together and uh, just to say, Shabash, you've done well. And we'll tell you more in Asian Network reports in half an hour.
Let's get some sports in now. The Indian Cricket Board has fined Shane Warne £50,000 for his parts in a bust-up with an administrator after an IPL game. Today in the competition, it's second-place Chennai Super Kings up against sixth-placed Gorchi Tuskers. Ajmal Shahzad is one of the favourites to replace England bowler Tim Bresnan. He's set to miss all three tests against Sri Lanka, starting in Cardiff next week because of a torn calf muscle. And in football news, Carlos Tevez scored twice as Manchester City beat Stoke 3-0 at Eastlands to go third in the Premier League. Victory against Bolton in their last game of the season will see them secure that place and gain automatic entry to the group stages of the Champions League. Asian Network News and sport. Join me if you can at 12.30 for Asian Network Report. Hello, I'm Pratibha. Uh, oh, hello. Pratibha. Hello to you. How are yeah. you? Uh, yeah, fine. Uh, Pranam Guruma. Pranam. Um, मैं बहुत नर्वस हो रही हूँ आपसे बात करते हुए. हाँ, नर्वस मत हो. आराम से बात कर. हाँ जी. आपसे ये पूछना था कि dependency और harmony आपने बताया है. Dependency क्या होती है? Because I'm a housewife. Mm-hmm. I cannot work now because I have two children mm-hmm. here. I have to take care of them. Mm-hmm. So am I dependent upon my husband? On my uh, husband? No, That's I don't question. think so. I, you are dependent. I think so. मेरे मजाक को मजाक की तरह लेना तुम बच्चे घर से तो लाई नहीं थी ना पीहर से यहीं पैदा हुए उसी के साथ हुए हैं तो तुम दोनों नहीं पालना उनको तो एक काम कर रहा है घर संभाल रहा है सो यू आर नॉट डिपेंडेंट यू आर जस्ट शेयरिंग योर लाइफ एंड शेयरिंग लाइफ मीन्स शेयरिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड ड्यूटीज एंड इंजॉय दिस मदरहुड डोंट फील डोंट फील डोंट अलाउ योर माइंड टू फील दैट यू आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन हिम इट इज दैट मे बी ही इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन यू फॉर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द केज एंड रनिंग द हाउस सो यू आर बोथ डूइंग योर जॉब एंड सो डू इट हैप्पीली डोंट हैव एनी ग्रज और डोंट फील दैट यू आर लेसर देन हिम जस्ट बिकॉज ही गोज आउट टू वर्क एंड यू डोंट गो आउट टू वर्क इट्स द सेम थिंग बोथ ऑफ यू आर वर्किंग हाँ जी और आप मेरे को सिखा आप कोई किताब निकाली या कुछ मुझे सिखाई है कि कैसे बच्चों को पालने में पॉजिटिव वे में और मैं चाहती हूँ कि वो आपके उसमें सिंपल सिंपल मेरी है. बात सुन तू हाँ गाने गाती है गाने की कुछ चाहे चाहे फिल्मी गाते हैं गाने हो तो वो ले लेनी थी जैसे अभी मेरे सुन रही थी लाइया लाइया इश्की मौला इस तरह की कुछ सीढ़ी मंगवा ले उसको सुबह लगाया शाम लगाया दोपहर लगाया खूब डांस किया कर नाचा कर तू नाचेगी बच्चे नाचेंगे तेरी एक्सरसाइज भी हो जाएगी यूल स्वेट लॉट यू लूज ऑल योर टॉक्स यूल डेफिनेटली फील हैप्पी थोड़ा नाचा गाया करो भाई और नर्वस मत हुआ कर चाहे तेरे सामने कोई हो थैंक यू पता नहीं मैं ना बोलते हुए ना कुछ भी बोल देती हूँ सोच मैं इसीलिए तेरे को कह रही हूँ तू गाया कर तू गाएगी तो तेरा बोलने का कॉन्फिडेंस सही हो जाएगा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एडवाइस प्रतिभा फ्रॉम नेदरलैंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच यू नो व्हाट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल कोइंसिडेंस इज आप यहाँ पर हैं इन इन द मिडल ऑफ व्हाट वी आर डिस्क्राइबिंग एज गेट हेल्थी हेयर ऑन द बीबीसी एशियन नेटवर्क ये एंड वेर टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सरसाइजेशन आई जस्ट रिटर्न अ बुक that's health and healing through yoga right okay health and healing through yoga in which i have explained the major three systems of our body especially the digestion your sleep your hypertension your heart and then what to do what to eat what asanas to do what breathing to do and especially how to have a very deep sleep so that in the morning you have a sufficient hormones and chemicals working in your body so this book i i would suggest to your listeners that if they can get it they can get it from um, online and they can buy this ebook please read that gift yourself this wonderful book easy to follow instructions easy to follow asanas and at least you will come to know that lot of your troubles are just because you are having a wrong lifestyle and you were not moving your joints enough and you were not feeling happy enough and you were not feeling calm enough and let me tell you your breath is the most important key in your body if you can uh, manage a certain rhythm in your breathing If you bring that rhythm your mind will just be so calm and so peaceful just by managing your breath and that alone will give you for example one thing which i am observing over here britishers are calling this uh, this season as a season of allergies mm-hmm. now i would like to mention one thing all allergies are there just because you have a weaker immune system 
and you have lot of unneedful toxins in your stomach so if you could learn the cleansing techniques the the cleansing techniques called kunjal it will clean up your stomach and your all uh, uh, food pipe and it's unbelievable and i have seen hundreds of people coming out of their allergy just because of that now i want to we're, we're going to run out of time so there's sure. so many things that i want to throw at you um and uh, one one of the things is uh, like some of these messages here uh, i understand that being happy is the key right. says this person but i've had three miscarriages and i find it very difficult to accept the reality that is happening in my life my friend i would just like to give you a very important advice and that is you have a very weaker urogenital system if you could walk with some asanas you will have such a strong uterus and you have such a strong glandular system that once you have corrected your body at least for one year do right asanas and right breathing and what right an, food what is an asana asana what? is the postures which you go in and you hold it for some times okay. and this yogic asanas there is a series of such asanas especially for the women uh, for the menopausal women and for those who are wish to have a child they have to have a very strong uterus and their ovarian system they have to have very strong hypothalamus pituitary and the thyroid should be working perfectly because of their stress levels they put their whole body into jeopardy mm-hmm. and this becomes one reason for the miscarriages so i would just advise that please meet some certified yoga teacher not a tv teacher mm-hmm. certified yoga teacher learn the basic postures which are very very important for a woman's body mm-hmm. and then after a year give a gap do lot of mantra lot of uh, pranayam and lot of asanas and then a right time would definitely come that you would be successfully have a right pregnancy term and will deliver a baby um your core on your course you're going to be concentrating this time round mainly on the youth of today and yes. before the news you were talking about how you one of the things that you've noticed amongst young people is that they have a temper they, they don't have, have direction attitude. basically they don't have direction to their life they have no understanding what a desire will do to them and how living future oriented is spoiling their present moment mm-hmm. and how how they are uh, not capable enough to create such a healthy and such a vibrant present moment that they don't have to wait for future week or month or a year mm. to bring them happiness see if you are living a hell in this present moment forget it you will have a heaven in the next coming season heaven is something which you need to create with the right mindset right lifestyle right thinking right contemplation right meditation and right food which is going in mm-hmm. let me just give you one suggestion i know it is not i'm not generalizing it but if you are a kaf prakriti as per the ayurved and you eat loads of yogurt in the evenings and in the night times and if you eat stale foods and if you are using lot of processed uh, food back to food it's a sure shot way to be sick so you need to know what to eat what not to eat when to eat when not to eat if you don't know that i don't know what kind of life is you is being lived by you so that's most important yeah. um another question here that's come in um this is from a woman who says she's she got divorced after an abusive marriage mm-hmm. um she says she has two beautiful boys mm-hmm. she's 42 and a single parent and mm-hmm. she says as much as i try and stay positive she actually feels quite low and unhappy she says in front of family members she's always smiling but behind the scenes she's missing that companionship she says My How- Either I do you this? you live positively or you don't you can't say i am trying to be positive the problem is this you don't wish to accept the fact that you don't know how to be positive everyone is just repeating this statement live positively but how no one is telling about that now i am hitting that core question and that is how you can create positivity and that is what the involution is that is all about your mind your life and getting the direction and i am not there to lead you the way i am just to inspire give you the basics and then leave you on your own to practice and if you have any trouble you can always fall back on me right. to take my advice so it's the tools you're providing yeah, it is the, the tools. tools which i will provide and i wish to see people self sufficient not being dependent even on me mm. and i hate this when people say you bless us i said why why can't you pray yourself and get your blessings mm-hmm. to yourself 
Why do you need me to give you blessings? Actually, talking about blessings and prayer, there's a question that I wanted to ask you. Do you have to be in a religious place to meditate or can you meditate anywhere? If you know how to meditate, you can meditate in a prostitution place. <laughs> <laughs> Khalil Gibran did that. Khalil Gibran would would sit in the taverns and and he was in this meditative, prayerful state of mind. It is not about the place. It is all about whether how? you know and how to do it or you don't know how to do it. Just give me a couple of tips before we run we finish off because we're out of time on how to meditate. See, the thing is, I can't give a tip over here because it's tipping difficult. can be only given when I am served something. I haven't been served, so how can I? Tip <laughs> the the only thing which i can suggest is please join in the involution and i will serve you the meal and also not take any tip from and you not take any tip from me <laughs> just want to say that um uh, anand murthy gurma is going to be at the ram mandir in morso which is in the west midlands uh, that's the ram mandir in morso from tonight onwards uh, you're going to be here till the 21st of, well from tonight till the 21st of may um every evening uh, from 7 till 9:30 you're doing uh, daily sermons, aren't you? Yes. And this Not sermons, please. What, what would you like to call them? I'll be giving a talk, a friendly talk. A friendly I'm, talk. I'm, I'm not a priest who will sermonize people. <laughs> I don't do that. A friendly talk. A friendly <laughs> talk. Ram Mandirim also, uh, from tonight till 21st of May, every evening, 7 till 9.30. This is an absolutely free event. Um, and then there's, there is a charge for the course, isn't there? This is for the uh, involution course. This is where you're concentrating on the youth. Yes, yes, yes. And this is happening on the? Uh, fourth uh, to... Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, that would be um, in fifth, fifth, sixth, and seventh of June, isn't yes, it? Yeah? Yes, fifth, please. sixth, and seventh of June. And uh, if you want more details of this, you can call uh, this number oh seven nine six eight five three five three six seven. That's oh seven nine six eight five three five three six seven. That is Maggie to find out more about these courses and what is happening there. I'd like to say a massive thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. Much. It's been mm -hmm. a pleasure, and mm -hmm. as always, we've run out of time once again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we have repeated it again. Here's to next year. <laughs> yeah. Thank okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia, so much. Thank you.